Welcome or welcome back to Mark Zard World. I have another rental team today by Cami. So I've got a Garchant, Goldingo, Annihilate, Ninetales, Murkrow and Chinsino. I don't know if I even pronounced that right, you know. But yeah, anyway, I've never used a Chinchino before. My first time. I'm glad it's got Technician and Loaded Dice. So um, yeah, the moves are going to be stronger. I've got Rocks Blast, Bullet Seed. Put triple axel that should hit five times and i love the fact that goldingo's choice specs make it rain i got a guard champ i love the fact that annihilate has final gambit as well that and it's defying so that can come in handy i might not even use it like the fat final gambit i might just see an incineroar and just you know close combat but a lot of these incineroars nowadays are changing into like water and grass you know yeah maybe it's best to do um final gambit on it anyway i got the tailwind um i love the fact that it's got haze as well haze is definitely gonna come in handy because you know i'll end up meeting those dondozos and our shadowdons and i can just use haze anyway let's get into the first battle so my opponent has a gold dingo como murkrow Amoongus, Azumarill, Incineroar. A lot of those Incineroars nowadays on rank, they're tearing into like water and what's the other one? Grass. Yeah, so if it comes out first, it's probably best to do like Final Gambit than use Close Combat. But I'm gonna start off with Annihilate and Murkrow though. I think that would be the best lead because I'm, I'm expecting the Incineroar to. Oh, Murkrow, one of the two, see there, I knew it was one of the two was going to come out, you know, so, yeah, I got the Defiant Boost, but I'm going to hesitate, I'm hesitant to use Close Combat, because I don't think it's going to stay, yeah, see, there you go, it, it tears into grass, see it there, so I use Protect, oh, should I did tell, I was thinking it probably might do Fake Out, maybe I can outspeed it, Let's go, that's, that's a slow Incineroar, let's go. That is a great turn. That first turn is amazing. RIP Incineroar. All right, bring in the next one now. Who you got for me? Azumarill. Chinchino, you're up. Gonna give that a bullet seed. Perish on right? What's the what, what's going on? You ain't got Gothitelle. You can't trap me in here. So I use Tailwind. Come on, Shinchino. What? You can't. Oh man, it sats. Oh geez. Oh, that is not good. That is not good. That is really not good now, man. Amoongus oh, and I used Rock Blast. I should have used Triple Axel in that slot. Wow. Hey, my opponent done his homework, man. Sometimes I face these strange teams and they end up doing certain things. I'm like, oh my god, I'm struggling against it. On paper, this team just looks simple. But wow. Pokemon's not played on paper, obviously. So I did do another Rock Blast into Azumarill. Unfortunately, I couldn't pick up the five hits. Azumarill recovered with a Citrus Berry. So now I use Brave Bird into Amoongus. And I cannot believe the, like, the Murkrow cannot one-shot the Amoongus from that range. Come on, man. The Amoongus was on, it wasn't on that much health. It was in the orange zone. And it spored me. Wow. So I switch into Garchomp because my Shinchino cannot knock out that Amoongus. Yeah, I don't think it... Actually, I could have, you know, if I used Triple Axel. Yeah, but they perish Song though anyway, so yeah, it didn't make no sense. Yeah, so Murkrow's on two. Tolan's gone. Perish song, what is going on here? What's in this Perish song? Like this is this this ah oh, this is a really like silly strategy. It's extremely silly because you don't have Gothitelle, your Incineroar's gone, and you're trying to trap me in. So you're trying to choose Perish song and you Spore. Like that's all you're trying to do, really. 
guy is just silly, man. Can't stand these type of strategies. This is annoying. <sighs> Opponent switched out into Zumaro. Oh man. Alright, Tailwind's up. Well, I don't know why you're doing Tailwind again. Like, what's going on here? I use Triple Axel. Finally, in the Shadow Realm. RIP Merkel. Alright, Garchom, get up. Yes! Go, Garchom! Flinch that annoying Azuma Realm. Let's go, Garchomp. Actually, flips as well. Right, I gotta switch you out, though, Garchomp. Before you go to the afterlife. Alright. Garchomp, come back. I'll switch in the Murkrow. It's still sleeping. Triple Axel on the mid. My Triple Axel missed. Incredible. Incredible. Like, this is, this is insane. Parasong, Pollen Pass, Spore, Liquidation, like, wow. Alright, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, come on. Finally, that was annoying, that was so annoying. Okay, Amoogus is in the upper room. Zumarill, you're next. Awkward, this is just like... Like, like, this is just so annoying. So I tear up Chinchino. Now I use Rock Blast. This should do a lot. That's doing, that's doing nothing. It's, it's practically doing nothing. That is just insane. Come on. Come on, Murkrow. Oh, actually, I did tell him. What am I talking about? Can't even attack. I, I cannot stand battling people like this because they're not trying to win. They know they can't win. So I'm going to keep protecting, setting up Aqua Ring. You can't win. It's just silly. It will make more sense for you to just cancel. You're obsessed with winning. You can't take an L. It's over for you now. My bad. It's been over like three turns ago. Go on, Mercro, stick the final nail in Azumarill's coffin. R.I.P. Cannot stand facing battling people like that. No GG. God, that was annoying. All right, on to the second battle. My opponent has a Bravery, Sneezer, Politol, Jolteon, Quackerville, and the Archaladon. Hmm. I'm expecting the Politol, Sneezer and Archaladon. I don't know what your four Pokemon would be. Yeah, so I'm going to start off with Murkrow and Annihilate again. I think that would be the best lead. Probably Godingo will be a good second. Yeah, but the Sneezer will probably use Fake Out anyway, so... And I'm pretty certain I cannot out... Goldingo cannot outspeed that Sneezer. Or the Jolteon. So that was the that was the well that's the Pokemon I didn't think you were gonna well I think you're gonna bring one of them whether it was Jolte or on Brave Rarity but I wasn't too sure I was only more like, certain well confident on the sneeze our Politoed and our Shaladon whoa Jolte on protects as well hey my observation hack is amazing no fake outs not happening final gambit. Unless it has Focus Sash. Yeah. You can go in the upper room with Annihilate. R.I.P. Okay. What? Flame Mode? Why does Jolteon have Flame Mode? It doesn't have the ability guts like Ursaluna. So Quackerville comes out. So Jolteon does Shadow Ball into Goldingo, which was quite unfortunate. Triple Axel miss, which is amazing. And I use Thunderbolt. Let's go. Focus Sash. Yo. Yo. Brave Bird. And I, I mean, 
I said annihilate, but America will put it in work. And annihilate's in the upper room. What am I talking about annihilate for? <laughs> hey, RIP, Pocoville. Okay, who's the next victim? Polito. Mm, this is going to be a bit of a problem. I'm assuming that's got um, Surf or Muddy War or something like that. Thunderbolt. Wait, why did Jolteon hit Murkrow? If Jolteon hit the Goldingo, I think I would have lost here and all. I don't get why you hit the Murkrow though. Yeah, I just need to get some damage on you. Before... <sighs> am, I, am I even going to get a Paralyze? Can you just stop? Please, like, for one turn. Well, I'm glad I got Tailwind up anyway, because that Jolteon is hella fast. Yeah, so basically it's two against one. This is where the gates to the Shadow Realm will open in the next two turns, hopefully. Yes, that didn't do that much, that's good. I was thinking of doing Aurora very well, but no. Uh, That's good, it's good. It's done a lot of damage. I was thinking of doing protect as well. Blizzard again. And I still can't take out that Polito. Hit no. Yo! If that landed, that would have lost most likely. Yo! Damn! That was. That was close! But at least I gave them both a funeral though. Two against one. I like those odds anyway. So on to the final battle. It's a cool as a lunar picture. My opponent starts out with Pelipar and Arshaladon. Rule number one. Lesson number one. Never start out with Arshaladon. <laughs> never. You should never start with it first. It terrored into grass. My opponent switched out Pelipar, switched in Grimsnar. I used Tailwind. And now I send our Shaladon to the upper room with Annihilate. RIP. That's why you shouldn't start with our Shaladon so quickly. Some people use the sturdy one, but even that's not really good anyway. So here comes the Moongus. Gonna do now. Let's see what my opponent's gonna do. I've been out to Chino. Wow, my opponent cancelled. Smart move. GG. 